How's it going everybody and welcome to Easily Explained, the video series where you learn how to do things really quickly. Today we're going to learn how to write on text in video. I apologize in advance if you can hear my fan. Uh, I don't have air conditioning. Plain and simple. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up After Effects and start a new composition. I'm going to call this one Write. Make sure that you're in the same aspect ratio that you're recording your video on so it aligns correctly with it. So you can either create a composition in After Effects and drop it in Premiere or you can replace the Premiere clip with an After Effects composition and write on top of it. But for this example, uh, I'm just gonna make a completely new composition and drop it on top. So since I'm doing a white text, I'm gonna use a dark background. So you have this blank slate. Now you wanna have your text. So hit Command T or click on this text icon up here and click here. And for this example, I'm gonna use the word write. So you can resize this uh, by uh, holding Shift and in the corner, um, so I'm gonna make this pretty big. Uh, cool, that looks good for me. All right, so I've got this here. I don't like how these letters are touching right here because that's gonna be problematic in the future. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a space here and I'm gonna decrease the, uh, the, the text size. I'm gonna make that 15. So okay, so this is a lot better. Um, they're not uh, overlapping on each other. So you're gonna wanna use a script font or a handwritten font uh, for this like write-on effect. So the font that I'm using is Rafi Taste. Uh, it's basically just like my font that I use for everything. Um, you can go on to dovefont.com and 1001 free fonts, get royalty free fonts, free downloads, free everything. Pretty freaking dope. That's pretty much where I find all my fonts. You can just type like handwritten or something and it'll come up, not a sponsor. All right, so let's select our text and go over into this window into effects and presets. Now, I'm just gonna type W-I-R-R-W-R-I-T-E <laughs> and go to generate write hyphen on. Double click that. And since I had this selected, it has applied it to the layer and I can double check by going to the effects panel in the drop down window. And yep, it's right there. So since my text is white, I'm gonna pick a different color so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make this brush size 100 to begin with, and that is clearly too big. So this anchor point is going to appear. Let's make our brush hardness 100 and our brush spacing, uh, the lowest it can go, just hit zero, it'll make it uh, point or 0 0.001 because you can't have zero, which is dumb. I don't get why they do that. All right, so that's a little bit too big. What you're gonna wanna aim for with your brush size is make sure that it's big enough to cover up all of the font. So you want the width to be about the same size because you're gonna want this red dot to cover up your entire font. So let's keep it at 60 for now because that looks, that looks to fit with the font. Let's see if I have any Yep, that's gonna work. Okay, cool, perfect, okay, love it. All right, so the first keyframe that I'm going to lay is going to be right here, and I'm gonna click on this little stopwatch right here and click boom. So now, if I zoom in, I have just created a keyframe in the effects and write on tab, and I'm gonna go two frames over and drag this from the anchor point down. Two frames over, drag this to the anchor point, boom, right there. And the reason that I'm going about this this way is because whatever way that you draw this is how it's gonna write on your text. So if you go all sloppy and out of order, then your text is gonna appear out of order. And that'll happen a lot too, is if you misclick and grab this, just Command Z and it'll snap back, and then just grab the anchor point again. With the T, I'm actually going to go below the T, and I'm gonna start with the line, and then I'm gonna make it slash through the T as well. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to start at the bottom, bring this down here, and then have this start right here. So that's gonna be the motion from the font there. Watch it come up, 
I'm gonna leave that about there so I have some room to slice the tea through. So it's gonna be about right there. And I'm actually gonna draw it out a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do a couple of keyframes, maybe three here. Do the slice all the way through and go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'll do three there. And then I'm going to bring this around. See, I missed a little bit of the font here. Um, so this means that it won't show up later, which could be problematic. So I'm not too worried about that with the handwritten fonts. It's not, it's an imperfect font already. So that's why they're kind of perfect for this. But if you're doing it with a script font, then you don't want to leave patches like this because it will mess up your end product. <laughs> yeah, looks great. <laughs> no, so what you're going to do is, um, I'm just going to look at all the keyframes and I did a lot for this one. It goes on for about two and a half seconds here. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to this panel, the right on panel, and for the paint style, we're going to click on this and click reveal original image. Okay, so I can see now this is what the end product's going to look like. This is what I messed up on. I didn't gather this and I didn't end with this, but it works with this font wholeheartedly. I think this definitely works. So let's look at the result. So you can see the little movements that happen where the, the eyes are crossed and the T is slashed. I would like the I to go a little bit faster. So what I'm gonna do is come into the keyframe and I'm gonna bring that I slashing keyframe a little bit faster and then the T comes around a little slow after that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these keyframes back a little bit too. And then let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so we're saving this as right on in After Effects, and what you can do is just drag the sequence into Premiere, and voila. So this really only took a couple of minutes, realistically. It's not hard to do, and it could make your video look a lot more professional, make you look like you know what you're doing. So there's a couple other ways to do this. But in my personal experience, I found that this is by far the easiest and most simple and easiest to understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, and you know, just keep killing it, you guys.